But you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What does it profit if you gain the whole world but lose your own soul? The Bible says today, if you will hear his voice, don't harden your heart. Another verse says, behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. So as your heads are bowed and your eyes are closed, if you have felt the Lord speaking to you and you want to respond to him by opening your heart's door to him, pray this prayer in your heart. And remember, you're talking to God now, not to me or anyone else. If you can pray this prayer and mean it, pray this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, the best I know how, I open my heart to you and ask you to come in and give me eternal life. I realize that I am a sinner and that you died on the cross to pay for all my sins. I want to repent and turn to you. Help me become the person you want me to be. I pray this prayer in your name. With your eyes still closed, if you prayed that prayer and really meant it, would you just raise your head and look at me briefly? Thank you. And Lord, We've done as was requested by Berdine. We've shared your word. We've given the invitation. It's an invitation from you. And we're so thankful, Lord, that you are able to save to the uttermost everyone who comes to you. And so as we as sing this final song today, we pray that we'll think about our relationship with you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. The song is in your bulletin. The cross upon which Jesus died is a shelter in which we can hide. And its grace so free is sufficient for me, and deep is its fountains, as wide as the sea. There's room at the cross for you. There's room at the cross for you. this room at the cross for you. The hand of my Savior is strong, and the love of my Savior is long. Through sunshine or rain, through from Calvary to cleanse every stain. There's room at the cross for you. There's room at the cross for you. Though millions have come, there's still this room at the cross for you. We'll conclude our service at the graveside and uh, we're thankful for the Simpson Funeral Home folks and how they help us at a time like this. We'll turn it over to Alan. Thank you.